So we just created the best builds in Shinobi Striker for everybody in the game. But if you don't have DLCs, this video today is going to be for you, my boy. Hey, listen, bro. Today is also my birthday, bro. March 3rd. So listen, man, if y'all want to, you know, call me happy birthday, that'd be very much appreciated. But if you guys really want to do something for me, make sure I like today's video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure I subscribe, man. Let's go crazy on today's video. Help out the beginners. And with that being said, I will be streaming later today, man. Make sure I have notification bell turned on and that's always time let's get into the video So the first class that we're going to be going over is the attacker class. So we're going to be going down in order. So now for the attacker class, I want you guys to be using the claws right here. So you can get this from the Tencent shop for very cheap if you do not have it. Or you get it from scrolls at some point. So yeah, that's the way to get the claws. They're the best weapon in the game. You definitely need it. Now, hypothetically, if you do get the trucker claws from esoteric scrolls, you should use these instead. But you're probably a beginner most likely. So go with the normal claws. For the ninja tool, I want you guys to be using, you want to be using the kunai. Now kunai, you get five of these and they're just good for just getting people off you, you know, getting distance and it's very it's just it's very useful to use man it's, it's literally a simple ninja tool but it's so good man the outfit stats for the attacker you're gonna be using first blood robust fighter and that's supposed to say battle hardened but it's glitched out yep there it is first ninjutsu i want you guys to be using is the sharingan from the kakashi vr master this will save you from any single attack and is very useful for every single game mode second ninjutsu is gonna be almighty push from the pain vr master now this is basically gonna be your pillar breaker and stuff you're gonna be using this to break pillars and also just do damage and you know just defend bases and you know do everything literally this jutsu does everything bro it also takes away subs the clone you're gonna be using a shadow clone jutsu from the naruto vr master finally for the ultimate we have seven heavenly breaths now this is the ultimate you get by starting the game so like i explained earlier you have the sharingan which basically will save you from any attack in the game like literally you would save you get save from ultimate is that good you have almighty push the reason i give you guys almighty push is again it takes away subs and all also, you could use this to break stuff like sand shoot and water pillar, which will be very useful for game modes. And overall, it's just a very annoying you to the deal if you're doing combos. As you guys can see in the gameplay, I'm doing combos and I do the almighty push. That that, that flows perfectly, bro. So you need a combo right there, boom. That's already a good combo. We have the Sharingan, which will save you from any attack. It's just a good sub. It's like basically that's your substitution jutsu. And you have seven heavenly breaths. Now, seven heavenly breaths is going to recover your HP fully from literally where it's at back to full, and it will keep recovering your like a good 10 seconds so this is one of the best ultimates in the game it's very like i, I was about to say underrated but it's not bro you will see a lot of charts using it to this day even with all the dlc it's just that good so yeah that's my attack build that i got that i feel like y'all should be using all right so now we move on to the range class now for my range mains listen bro i want y'all boys to be using the kuzanagi sword i'm gonna get into the video very soon on how to combo with this weapon very good so be ready for that but turning on to a ranged demon like me the ninja tool is going to be the send bones these are very good they do a lot of chip damage you also get three of them now the stats for the range class you guys are gonna be using power and spades clear mind and battle hardened first ninja is gonna be amaterasu this is from the itachi bear mess you're gonna be putting a amaterasu flame on any single enemy and this will do burn damage and lower defense it will also break pillars like sand shield water pillar break guards it's op now the second jutsu honestly i want you guys to be using super beast scroll bird this is a simple jutsu from the side of your master you're gonna be summoning a bird and this bird will just go flying super fast and it will put a black screen on the enemies uh a black spot on the enemy screen i mean so yeah it's very annoying to deal with bro so yeah for the clone you guys will be using shadow clone jutsu from the naruto vr master finally for the ultimate you guys think this might be trash but listen this is why i'm telling you guys watch the full video we're using totska blade i'm gonna teach you guys how to use ultimate properly you get this from the itachi vr master by the way so this is low-key a combo tutorial man so i'm gonna be telling you guys how to one hit stun with the kuzanagi sword so we're gonna lock on to an enemy with r2 actually I, I don't know i forgot how you lock on but you guys already know man you guys just know the basics so you lock on to an enemy after they're gonna hold square bro you're gonna be doing the animation where you charge at your enemy and yeah they're gonna basically one hit stun it sounds exactly what it is and the enemy will be stunned after that one hit. Then you could combine it with other stuff. You could do jutsus. You could just do combos. 
And listen, if I might do a Kuzanagi Sword combo, man. Y'all let me know down in the comments. But if you want to land a Tutska Blade, always guaranteed. Make sure you guys know how to one-hit stun. Because you do the one-hit stun, and then you do like an Amaterasu, and then Tutska Blade. That will be a one-shot. So, yeah, man. The rest of the Jutsus are very good as well. Amaterasu will be good for taking away Water Pillar and Sand Shield. The Ink Bird is an annoying Jutsu as well. Because that will put a black spot on the enemy screen. You got the Tutska Blade, which will steal enemies. And it will most likely one-shot them. And they will take like 20 seconds to respawn. So yeah, this build is very good. You got the send bones for chip damage. You do a matrasu hit him with send bones. That's like already 40% of their HP gone with that combo low man. So listen, like I said, you guys need to know how to one hit stun. Learn the Kusanagi sword combos. There are many tutorials on YouTube on how to extend more combos and stuff. But if you guys want me to make a video on that, let me know in the comments and I'll get to it. But that is my best beginner range for range. Alright man, my lovely defense mains, bro, we are here, bro. Okay, so for the weapon you guys are going to be using is going to be the simple longsword now. The longsword has amazing combos, the triangle. Basically, if you're a defense, right, your triangle, you have super armor automatically. So this is one of the best triangles for uh, defense. And yeah, you literally get it just by starting the game. Now your ninja tool that you're going to be using is a blast bomb. I think it's about playing 50 games of defense. So yeah, make sure you guys play your defense a lot and you'll get this. Now for the stats, I'm going to be using first blood in a flash and battle hardy for the defense. The first ninja is going to be a trigrams palm rotation. Now, I think this is another one of those jutsu that you get by playing a lot of games of defense. This will reflect any single attack. And does a lot of damage and will also have the ninjutsu sealed breath so it's very useful the second ninjutsu is going to be snake thrust from the mitsuki vr master now this is going to be basically thrusting your enemies away from you it's going to be recovering your hp and yeah it's just so annoying to deal with bro you just it'll close out the distance between you and your enemy and you, you get a uh, it uses for like base battle and stuff to get him off base for the clone we're using water clone juice from the kisame vr master finally for the ultimate we got sand Mausoleumia from the Gaura of your master. This Jutsu traps enemy targeting sand and it will it basically make their respawn longer and it will do a lot of damage. So I picked this build specifically for defense because you're going to be doing basically a lot of everything. You're going to be healing, you're going to be defending, you're going to be doing damage. Now listen, before I get started, if you want to do an infinite with the defense class, all you do is get him in the combo, just do jump square like I just did right there. Now basically man, I would have put sand shield instead of the A trigram jutsu, but low key sand shield is kind of useless for some game modes. So listen, you could switch that out for like base and flag battle for sand shield, but I do like the A trigrams because it does seal ninjutsu and it does good damage it's literally an annoying jutsu to deal with you get it back so fast as well so that's why i didn't put it in for sand shield and snake thrust is such an amazing jutsu because like i said you push enemies back and you gain hp from that which listen that is op bro that's one of the best jutsus in the game mitsuki is actually one of the best vr masters like you could literally play as mitsuki and just be good bro like you could just play as a character you don't need to make a build or nothing play as mitsuki you'll be op that's how good his moveset is so yeah snake thrust is very good now you have grand sand Mas Mausoleum. Grand Saint Mausoleum will do like 60% or 70 HP. So try to get everybody in that Grand Saint Mausoleum Ultimate. After that, you can finish them off with like a Snake Thrust if you are able to catch them. So yeah, this build is very toxic. Let me know what y'all think about this defense build. This is my best defense build for the year so far. Last but not least, we have our healer mains, bro. You been? We have our healer mains. So for the weapon, we got the Ninja Sword. You guys are gonna be using this. This is Again, another weapon you get by starting the game. Like, when I say this, I mean, you just, you already have it, bro. You start the game, you have it. So, Ninja Sword is what you're going to be using. The Ninja Tool, I want you guys to be using the Healing Cell Type 2. This will heal you and all allies around you. Very useful. The outfit stats I got for the healer are first blood, armed and dangerous, and battle hardened. The first Ninja Tool Sailor Extraction Jutsu from the Sakura VR Master. This will heal you and any ally around you, and it will cure status effects. So, this is the best healing Jutsu in the game. You get it for free, bro. It's crazy. The second Jutsu is going to be A Trigrams Air Palm from the Heat not to be our master now this jutsu you're gonna be pulling out an air palm from your hand and when this air palm hits the enemy it will seal their jutsus and do damage it's very useful when you got the healing in this bro it's, it's, it's an annoying combo now for the clone reason shadow clone jutsu from naruto vr master finally for the ultimate we have feather illusion jutsu from the kabuto vr master this will put everybody to sleep it is very toxic you use the pitfall enemies if you want to be a good healer in Shinobi Striker, I'm gonna need you to start using this build because this build has a lot of everything as well. You have healing for your team and yourself. You have the Air Palm, which will seal Jutsu's 
from enemies so you can you know use it against a 1v1 or just help your ally just if they're struggling with somebody you know seal them with the air palm boom now y'all jump him and he has no jutsus and you have the feather illusion jutsu which if you are playing on a map where you can dive by falling off the map you pop to sleep in that area them boys are going to fall asleep bro so it's going to be very toxic it's super easy to get kills with this and also you just use it to put them to sleep you know create some combos with your team but yeah, like I said, man, and you also have the healing cell type too, the ninja tool to heal you and allies around you. So you have a lot of healing, you have a lot of debuffing, you have a lot, you have a lot of toxicity on your build. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about these top beginner builds that I've created for you beginners in Shinobi Striker. Again, if this video did help you out, please do not forget to drop a like on the video. And if you made it this far into the video, if you watched the full thing, comment down below the number 70. I do appreciate you guys and listen. Have your notification bell turned on. We're going to be daily uploading Shinobi Striker and some other Naruto games on this channel this month, bro. So if you guys do enjoy that, make sure you guys turn that on. That being said, I appreciate you guys so much for the support. Love you guys, man. I hope you guys have a blessed night or day wherever you're at. And I will see you guys in the next video, man. Peace. Diamonds perfect, got that working. Diamonds perfect, yeah we working.